Jostein indoor outdoor metal shelving unit double installation. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Coolest Dad today with the cute daughter, and we're gonna do the Jostein shelves. So I'm gonna start now and then do some voiceover while we go. So ready, three, two, one, go. Okay, so these are metal shelves. They're technically indoor outdoor. This particular version has the solid shelf. They also have versions with kind of a grating and also I think some with kind of a, uh, like a tray. Uh, but anyway, I wanted indoor shelves for behind my desk. So this is 180 centimeters tall by each one is 81 centimeters wide and 40 centimeters deep. So not too bad, should be pretty decent. I previously had the Plaza, that's the last set of shelves I've done. I've had a bunch, but the Plaza was the last one I did. These seem to be pretty similar. Actually, they're cheaper and they're a bit bigger and like less, more indoor outdoor, maybe more industrial you could call it. Uh, but they don't sell the Plaza in the size I want, in the color I want here in Japan. And as I mentioned in that video, they don't sell them at all in like the US. So I don't know why Plaza is not global, but it's not. If I had a choice, I might have bought the Plaza again. I wanted something metal. I wanted something white. I wanted something big, like with some depth and some height. And so this pretty much has all of those. Hopefully it turns out pretty good. I've never actually seen a Joe Steen in person because I didn't want to go all the way to Ikea to just to check it out because it's, it's like an hour away from here. So anyway, sight unseen. I've actually looked at the instructions. You need a, a flat screwdriver i don't know what for but you also need um the allen wrench it comes with the allen wrench of course so one of the quirks of this is that the because it's basically two shelving units on top of each other the bottom of the top one and the top of the bottom one are actually pretty close i don't know if you can take that shelf out i guess we'll have to see how it turns out i'll describe that at the end once i've seen what the whole thing looks like okay and here you can see the shelf as you can see it's like metal reinforced here um yeah not too bad it's, it's definitely sturdy um, can definitely hold a lot. I don't know what the rating is. I'll put it up on screen, but uh, pretty strong. It's not as nice as the Plaza, which was like had a little bit of a kind of a rougher finish, but it was also finished on the bottom. It was like, you know, more presentable. This is more industrial. This reminds me a lot of the Hindo that I had, which was also indoor, outdoor. Uh, basically, this bolts go into here. So it's kind of a, a nut, basically, or threaded hole uh, welded in at the end of each shelf. So yeah, not too bad. Okay, and here's what comes in each pack for each frame. Uh, this is the anchor to the wall. This is a spacer if you have like a baseboard and your wall thing is uh, a little bit recessed back. You can basically have a gap there. Uh, this is the actual uh, Allen bolt that will connect the frames to the shelves. And there's a cap here, which I guess goes on there. Uh, and then last but not least, there is a foot for the bottom. So if you're stacking them, you obviously don't use this, but on the bottom bottom, you use this one. And this is pretty similar to ones I've seen on other uh, IKEA pieces, probably duplicative. Okay, let's get back to it. Now, we're gonna pick this thing up, we're gonna put it on top of here, and then we're gonna screw into here with those four more screws. Okay, so wait, there's nothing to screw yet. And I forgot to mention, this is actually a four millimeter Allen uh, head on the bolt. So if you have one of these guys, it can save you a lot of time. Obviously, if you have a power one, just make sure that you don't drive it in too hard and bend the metal, which has actually happened on the Plaza too. So um, just be forewarned on that. And definitely don't forget, if you're going to assemble it on a wood floor, do it on a piece of cardboard or a rug or even a thick towel, uh, just so you don't scratch up your floor, which shouldn't be a huge problem, but definitely possible. So one of the key things to note that I didn't mention before explicitly is uh, it's not one of those multi-position ones that you can adjust, adjust. So there's basically fixed positions for each shelf. And then on top of that, you have the awkward thing where the top section's bottom shelf is really close to the bottom section. So again, think of this as something that you're putting in a garage or on a patio. So you don't care that much if it's perfect. Um, but for me, I can live with it because I literally never adjust the shelves I have. And I have so many odd things that I pretty much don't care where the shelves are as long as I have shelves. Anyway, let's keep going.
Okay, here we are. As you can see, my kids were sort of helpful, sort of slowed me down. Uh, probably would take you, I mean, it's, it's not long per each one, maybe five minutes, ten minutes, but times four, it's going to take you, you know, 30 minutes at least. A power driver would be faster, but of course, make sure that you don't strip the threads on anything. Um, so yeah, as you could see, I got tricked. Because if you look at the manual, it actually has the six levels and that gap that I mentioned before. But in fact, that's only if you buy two separate and then you try to stick together. So when I ordered, I ordered the dump the full height one and I didn't do the math right, but they only send you 10 shelves, which is one, two, three, four, five. So in other words, they don't send you this one. But all of the instructions, whether it's for a single or whatever, they only show the three per level version. So there's no separate instructions for the full height one by itself as shipped with only five shelves per unit. Annoying and weird, but hey, we figured it out. The good news is you don't have to unassemble everything to take the shelf out. So yeah, not too bad. Um, compared to the prices on other metal shelves, this one's actually much better, so I'm not gonna complain too much. Plaza would be better, although it's smaller and more expensive. Um, but yeah, this gap is pretty huge. So yeah, overall, quality is actually pretty good. It's a bit noisy, but hopefully you're not banging on it. Um, Looks okay, a little bit wobbly. I'm gonna put some rubber bumpers on the back so I don't scrape up my wall. And I'm thinking about doing something similar to what I did with my other ones, which is to zip tie the two together so they don't move against each other or rattle. There's no, this one doesn't come with any uh, hardware or clips to hold them together. So there is the holes for this bottom shelf. So you could actually bolt them together if you wanted to, um, but zip tie is probably fine. Obviously, anchor it to the wall if you have the opportunity to, although it is pretty stable. If you put heavy things on the bottom, I think it would be hard for it to tip over if there's nothing heavy on top, obviously. Um, nice and tall, 180 centimeters. I like that a lot. Uh, this room has pretty tall ceilings. They're over like 2.3 meters or something, so I have lots of space for I don't know, big boxes or whatever, something you would hardly notice because it's so high up. So anyway, for the price, it's not too bad. A little bit expensive, but actually cheaper than the Plaza, although it's not as nice as the Plaza. Assembly is almost the same. Plaza actually lets you adjust the level, so not as good in that respect. But yeah, for large items, if you want something plain and cheap, not too bad. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, already filling up. Um, it'll be a mess by the time she's done, I think. So anyway, that's it for today. See you guys next time here on The Clueless Dad, along with the Clueless Daughter. No, cute. Oh, I'm sorry, the cute daughter. Okay, and here you are. As you can see, my daughter is already putting stuff away. Uh, hopefully. I already said my daughter um, putting the things away. Yeah, I know. I had to repeat because you were talking while I was going. <laughs> okay, from the top, I'm going to repeat myself. Ready? Three, two, one, go. It's a very old okay. picture. Yeah, that's an old picture of Papa, right? Papa, where is you? Where am I? I'm right in the middle. No, that's not me. That's me, right? Uh, you don't recognize your own father? Too young? Too handsome? Too much hair? Um, it's you too. I think you too. You are too young. You like somebody else. Yeah, that's because I had hair back then, and I was skinnier. So you any. Have a big tummy. Yeah. Now, okay. Thank you. This is going in the blooper reel, right? No. No. You don't want to finish? We're almost done. Why do we? You're not lunar yet? <laughs> okay. Aram has bailed. Aram has bailed. Slowing everything down and then just skips out when the going gets tough. Hey everyone, welcome back to the coolest dad and the coolest daughter. Today we're going to put together some IKEA. Cute. Hmm? Cute. Cute daughter? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 